Well, guys, I've been waiting about a week for this old Sargent to get her. I got it on eBay. It was listed for 35 bucks plus another, I don't know, four or five bucks for shipping. So it's not a cheap lock, but it's not often you find a high quality older lock. And I believe that's what this is. This has the older, rarer Sargent logo. And this thing's in really good shape. Nice patina. There are some honest use dings on it. Um, not bad on the side of it somewhere here. There's no other marking for the company, but there's a little stamp there. Uh, A19, no clue what that means. The shackle's in good shape. You can see it was probably used outside. There is some corro corrosion on there, but you can right away see tiny gaps. And that's because Sargent's known for their high quality, very tight tolerances. So that's what made me willing to spend a little bit of money on this, hoping for some some good afternoon entertainment here on a Saturday. Um, the thing about these, usually when you see this logo, it's the very difficult to pick dimple lock. And I got a couple of those around here, and they take a long time. Those are You definitely get your money's worth of entertainment on those. This one, however, is a six pin with some awesome bidding. Again, awesome bidding is not unusual with sergeants. And this thing works beautifully. I'm going to call this my duck lock. I have no clue. It doesn't say A19, but... So we're going to call this the Sergeant Duck Lock. It does work. It's very, very gritty and difficult to turn. It drags a little bit. I don't see anything that's, you know, no dents or anything, but there's something in there. So if you see any Houdini squirting out of there like that, or maybe on the other side of the lock, I did squirt Houdini trying to loosen that up before I gave it a pick, just to give myself half a chance. Oh, I wanted to show you one more thing on this guy. Uh, Sergeant is so confident in their, their tight tolerances that they only have a cutout and a locking pawl on one side of this lock. This is, you can see it jiggling. So the bottom of the shackle is right about there, just below the body of the lock. There's no locking pawl, no cutout on this side. So it only locks on one side, which tells you that if you could get a shim in there, you could probably shim it open. But when you look at these tolerances, you can't. And on top of that, Sargent is known to use anti-shim uh, on the side of their locking pawl. And this one indeed does have that. So we're not going to shim it. We are going to try to pick it though. So let me find a tensioner and see if we can't get started on that. That's a little loose. Get rid of that one. Let's try a 1.2 millimeter. It's still a little loose, but it's the fattest one I got. This is the SP14 from Multipick. Try to do this in my hand. All right, nice little keyway on it. It's not very paracentric. I believe I can pick from the bottom. So let's try that. I need a nice thin pick. I'm gonna grab this guy. It is the multi-pick Forest Diamond in 15,000 because I got that blue band on there. Slide him in. Let's apply moderate tension to start with. And if that doesn't work, we'll try something different. Maybe I'll change my skivvies. I don't know. Different tensioner. Okay, that was pin five. And nobody else is binding. So let's go back. Oh, there we go. Pin six. He's giving me a couple of clicks, almost like a serrated pin, but these are not known to have serrated pins, so it's probably just gunk in the lock. I think we got him. Okay, that was pin three, little click on him. Pin two is binding, and I believe that is pin one right there. Little click on him. All right, what else we got here? Come on now. Everybody's set. Let me just get back and double check one. Sometimes I have trouble with that one because he's right behind the tensioner. Nope, he seems to be set. All right, I felt a click on three. Okay, that was two again. So it must have dropped some stuff here without realizing it.
That was two again. And there's one. Man, you know, I actually think it's been open. Check that out. It's really, really pinched. There we go. All right. Well, um, it didn't keep us busy all afternoon, but I got to tell you, for a, a six-pin lock with no security pins and no other trickery, it was quite a challenge. I got to say, it's definitely worth 35 bucks for this old sergeant logo. Anyway, guys, I appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. Uh, I know what I'm going to do with this lock. I usually send them out randomly, but I know a big-time sergeant collector, and that would be Jeff Moss. Jeff, I'll be sending this to you, so to please don't call me late at night begging and crying and asking me to send you this lock. It's already on the way. Thanks, guys.